Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Libra Sun, Moon and Rising. It is the week of the Fool, the energy of the Fool, and the zodiac energy of the Hurt and the Hair. Okay, so this is the third week. The week is going to begin from the 18th until the 24th. And this is the third week of September. I want to say thank you to all you Librans who have been wondering how the hurricane went. This is the day after the hurricane, so... I guess it went <laughs> good alrighty um the energy vibration of this week is going to be like a wonderful wonderful um it's, it's all about money whatever is happening to you guys it's all about money um, we have the Queen of Pentacles that is someone who is a um, Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and the energy of money you have no um, support this week except the energy of the week so let's look further what is going to happen you have a situation to do with the Queen of Cups whoever the energy of the Queen of Cups is it can be someone um, um, rising or moon sign the Queen of Cups whoever she is but you have a situation so it can be that some people are connecting with the Pisces the cancers or the scorpion so whoever the queen of cups is most of you men or women who um who have this person in their life it could be your mother so whatever the situation is she is here in this week watching over this week it can be someone who is from out the spirit world too so because there are thousands of you this is the energy that is going to help you she can either be in your son and in, in, uh, she can either as someone who has a um, cancer or a Pisces in their and Scorpio in their Sun Moon and Rising sign okay um, what else is here accompany her is the energy of uh, um, the, the Queen of Wands okay so some people will have to deal with the energy of the Queen of Cups some people will have to deal with the energy of the Queen of Wands so whatever and whoever you're dealing with in this week obviously it can be the energy of mothers for some people uh, some people it can be the energies of siblings sisters of brothers or haunts or that sort of a thing but they're coming in um, the Queen of Cups could be coming in from a spiritual point of view um, the Queen of Wands also but it depends on who you are and how it's going to affect you I'm going to look at your week to see what is the energy vibration we see the number five coming up whatever is happening the number five energies are here the devil is here number five energy and the devil so some people are going to have to do deal with the, the um, Aries people on Monday um, number five energies are here the eye princess is here also for number two Number two and number five is going to play a significant role in your life. Number two and number five is going to play a significant role in your life. Okay, we have the energy vibration of the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a star, as a Virgo, or a Capricorn person. This is the energy that you will have on Monday. Whoever this person is, you are going to see them as the devil. But actually, this person is just doing the best she can on her own. This could be a love connection. It could be someone that has refused your love, that has turned her back on you, and you are hating her, and you're speaking about her with the Queen of Cups or with the, the Queen of Wands, okay? So on Monday, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, be careful what you do, okay? Be careful what you do because you're, you are speaking about her in the negative forms because she choose to end a relationship with you in whatever way it can be a friendship and it can be a relationship but there are reason why people do certain things okay and maybe for you you're thinking that this person is evil and um, and, and uh, um, is the devil because obviously it's a love situation that you was in love with this person and this person have turned your back on on, on you and you are discussing it with these two persons and you think that oh these two persons are so nice and this is the Queen of Cups and she's so good so you're trying to um, 
you know, say negative things about this person. Remember the good that she did for you. Remember the time that she was there for you. Okay. Cause a lot of people are like that. You like to break down other people because, um, you don't get the information. You don't get whatever you were looking for from that person. And especially the men, you will break down this person because of whatever situation that has played. And maybe this person decided that this is not something for me and move on. But you never tell the truth why this person has ended the relationship. And you need to tell the truth. For some other people, it's going to be that you try to get this person to do something, especially women to women, you try to get this person to do something, this person realize who you are and see that you just need them for certain things and this person back away from you because they don't want to deal with that sort of a thing. So here you are going to the um, Pisces, the Scorpion or the Cancer person to really break down that person and there you bring in this woman of fire who is the Aries and the, the, the Leo and the Sagittarius was so be aware because you're going back right to that person and she's not going to let you back in their life. Okay. Be aware of these, uh, um, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn people. They, they read you like a book. Okay. Even if they pretend as if they don't, whatever is happening on Thursday, Tuesday, you're feeling as if you're out in the cold, you make yourself out in the cold, whatever you've done to that, um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person on Monday this is why you're feeling as if you're out in the cold and you have you're trying to um, uh, find balance with your financial situation apparently you thought that this person was going to help you with your financial situation and you felt out in the cold maybe if you were being nicer to this person maybe they would have helped you because really um, these oh, hurt people are very nice and they can be kind to you um, to you liberals but obviously there is something you're feeling out in the cold with a monetary um, situation on Tuesday and this is what you've called on yourself another earth sign on Wednesday you you're very working very hard um, to gain something you also have the eight twice so you have two five and eight whatever is happening um, the the infinity universe is is going to bless you despite of what you have done um, to someone on Monday okay despite um, what you have done to someone on Monday the universe is going to bless you with this situation so this is going to be positive because number 88 is a good positive sign that your financial situation will be in balance as we move forward we have the energy of the the seven um, there's a situation that you're dealing with um whatever the situation is uh, it's in it's in the reverse form and it's with an organization so miss maybe um you you were working with an organization maybe you're looking to work with an organization maybe you wanted to find work with another organization but it's not going to happen for you yeah sorry um what happened here is that you need to understand that whenever people help you and you try to do something negative because it's you know you create karma this is you're trying to connect with this organization because you're looking for work but it's they're not going to help you and why they're not going to help you is because um you have connected with them before and something happened that they have no trust in you because something happened that you were asked something and, and, and you did not, you, you weren't being honest and they're saying, um, can we deal with this person? So whoever, um, you, you know, as a liberal, sometimes you think you're too sharp and you're too smart, but sometimes this is a situation that you outsmart yourself with an organization. The organization is going to look at you and wonder if this is the person we want to work with. So you liberals, you know, sometimes you think, oh, I'm, I'm good at this and, you know, I can see people and I can do this. Be, be, be aware because Thursday, a situation is going to come up. On Friday, we have the energy of the eye princess who begin to connect with yourself. It's as if your spirit guides and angels are showing you that you have done something. You need to look, you know, really good at what you have done because they're showing you something and you're you're turning your back on something and you're moving away because uh, whatever it is that uh, you <laughs> you play yourself there's a situation that happens for some people of their work 
um, for some people with other group of people you play yourself out because um, you're playing two sides of the coin and you play yourself out okay be aware of what is happening because it's like your spirit guides and angel is going to say oh wow have you seen what you have done someone who has been nice and been there for you you let them fall and now yeah you're on your own moving through a situation. be aware of what you do to other people okay because you Libra tend to you know try to see how you can um, manipulate situations around you but this time you're going to be very much out in the cold uh, people who used to help you are not going to help you anymore okay and it can also be that someone who is an Aquarius so on Friday someone who is an Aquarius or a an Aquarius or a um, um, a Gemini is going to look at you very differently be aware of what you do on Saturday you are balancing out your financial situation in whatever way you're balancing out but there is going to be a new beginning coming in for you okay so whatever is happening you're trying to balance out your financial situation and your emotional because you see your play the two side of the coin and you have not win any of them and it was better than you be nice to um, the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person because if you were be nice to the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person then you would have seen your situation there a new beginning is coming in but it's gonna take long and slow to come in on Sunday you have a situation you're connecting with your family member you're connecting with people of the past you're connecting with soul family is coming in and you have the energy of the Sun you're feeling very happy and warm this could be that you decided to go back to the church whoever you are or you decided to connect to people who you have known in the past this could be a situation that you are finding people to connect with in the past because you have played your hand out and you realize that what you have done you have actually played yourself out so you're trying to connect with people of the past and soul family um, to find back that zest of life it can happen for you uh, um, but you know it's a lesson for you whatever has happened because you know you need to understand that sometimes the universe plays certain people in your life and obviously whoever the universe has placed in your life you see it has a you know you you play both you, you try to play both situation and um, it fall out but this is as if you return to the church you return to connect to people to other people and they're looking at you coming back and thinking you know where were you um, you know because you're in a situation that's why you're coming back and you're feeling as if you're so happy and connected to these people but be aware and this is something for you Librans because I know a lot of Librans people and uh, the, 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 the situation is that you always try to think that you're smarter than the rest of us and you're not okay you might have um, the the scale balancing out the scale but sometimes when you see that you can um, uh, take advantage of both sides of the scales you do it and sometimes you fall out of the boat okay so whatever is happening um, for you guys um, realize that hurt sign people they're very stable people and you are in here person so your emotion your con everything is all up in the hair um, hurt people um, the Taurus the Virgo and the Capricorns are very stable people okay they don't take um, you know the, the plane and they don't um, you know choose to see what they can um, get out of a situation they're really stable people if they see that something isn't uh, um, they, they can see um, red flags and um, you you think you're always thinking that you're simple that they can't see through what is going on and you're going to outplay yourself and you're going to wish that you didn't do it okay because you're playing out yourself at this moment it's a pity but yeah I guess you guys um, must balance the scale you're thinking always to balance the scale for myself I'm thinking I don't need to know the truth of the situation and I'm leaving it <laughs> but you guys play out both sides and you play yourself out okay I'm working with Archangel Michael and I'm asking Archangel Michael and you know it's not negative 
because not all of you are like that and because what is showing is that some people are going to be you know very working in a group and connecting in a group working very hard to bring something out and there is an organization that you're going to walk away from because some people wants to start a new beginning and they're going to feel much better so that is a positive side of this reading but the other side is that a lot of you Libras because you are vibrating with with two energies you're going back to be a fire sign and you are working out these things so you need to be aware okay the message for you from Archangel Michael is a favorable outcome. So um, thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. Okay, so it's good. You, you receive a good outcome. Uh, it doesn't really mean that you have won something. It means that... Um, both sides are karmatically balanced okay and you need to move on from this situation do not contact the other person because if you're going to speak bad about someone else don't contact them and expect them to help you as we move on we're seeing the ascendance card and the energy for you is a 12 chakra so you need to call upon the universal angels Archangel Metatron and the unicorns and mother mary and ask them to awaken your 12 fifth dimension chakras because we need to awaken all our chakras just ask them call them up and ask them to open your fifth dimension chakras i want to say thank you to each and every person that have reached out to me thank you for helping me through the the hurricane season thank you for everything please likes and share remember that love is the only thing that is real we're all here on a journey we're all here um to learn from each other and whatever way you see fit and better in a positive way to help someone that is what you will receive i am saying please listen to your sun moon and rising sign namaste until next week